welcome you all today we are going to discuss about cooling of transformers a losses occur in the winding of the transformer during the process of energy transfer this losses appear as heat thus the winding must be prevented from getting high temperature to dissipate the excess heat produced and to improve the life of the transformer a proper cooling system is needed these are the different types of cooling transformer natural natural oil air blast um, forced water and forced air cooling first one is natural cooling here the heat produced in the transformer is cooled by natural air circulation when the temperature of the transformer is higher than that of the surrounding air heated air is cooled by cool air by natural convection the surface area of the core and winding are uh, enough to dissipate the heat produced uh, in the transformer this type of cooling system is used in small transformer of rating up to 3 mega volts ampere next is natural oil cooling this is the most useful technique of cooling here the transformer is placed in a tank and it is filled with the transformer oil This transfer transformer oil is used to cool the transformer and it provides insulation for the winding of the transformer. This oil takes heat from the core and winding of the transformer. The hot oil dissipates heat in the air by natural convection and conduction. the air takes the heat and oil gets cooled by the circulation of natural air this type of cooling used for the transformer rating up to 30 mega volts ampere this is a oil cooled transformer next type is air blast cooling for transformers rated more than 3 megawatts ampere cooling by natural air method is insufficient the transformer is cooled by circulating continuous blast of cool air through the core and windings of the transformer for this external fans are used the air supply must be filtered to prevent accumulation of dust particles in the ventilating ducts this type of cooling system is used in transformers of rating above 500 kilowatts ampere next type is forced water cooling here cold water is forced to circulate to cool down oil this cold water absorbs heat and carries away the heat of the oil this heated water is taken away to cool in separate coolers care should be taken to no leakage of water if it leaks insulating property of the oil will damage This type of cooling system is used in very large transformers having rating of several hundreds mega volts ampere. It's about 60 mega volts ampere. This is the water forced cooled transformer. Next type is forced air cooling. Here air is first filtered out. here dissipation of heat is taken place by the convection process in which forced air is naturally circulated to cool down this air takes away the heat this method is used in places where there is a scarcity of water these are higher rating transformers up to 60 megawatts ampere at substations and power stations its cost is higher as compared to another processes 
This is air force to cold transformer. Thank you.